Hello everyone. Welcome back once again in the series of Linux for hacking. In today's session, we are going to learn that how to install Kali Linux in your machine. So very first thing, we are going to use Chrome and online tools for that one. So just to give you a brief description, what are we going to do? We are going to install a virtual box. In fact, that we can say that any of the uh, hypervisor over there, we will be installing the Linux. If you don't know all those things, not to worry, just follow whatever I'm saying to you. Okay. So anyways, this is my website, but don't go for it as of now <laughs> and just uh, go download virtual box. Okay. So there's two things we have to download, but very first thing we have to do download virtual box. So just go to the simple steps and this is like official website of the virtual box and this is provided by the Oracle. So we are going to use that one. So I'm going to use it for the Windows host. Okay. And this is downloading. It will take some time to download it. The speed is I think quite slow. So what I'm going to do, I will just pause it for some time that uh, how is download and then I will come back to you that how to install it. Okay. Here we go. It's downloaded and uh, now let's install it. So there's like two ways. Either you can go to this downloaded sections and double click and install there or we can just double click here and we'll start installing. Okay, so I just did double click and now it's asking me the permission to install it and obviously I'm going to approve it. Next, next, don't, don't have to do different things. Just click next, next, next or in fact, yes. Okay, if you want, you can read it, all these things. If you don't want, you can skip these parts. And this is very important that uh, you also do watching this video because if you don't uh, follow these things, you may fall behind. Okay. So another thing is saying that start Oracle VM virtual box software installation. So obviously like I will be starting it. So now my virtual box is installed and now you will see that how basically Oracle virtual box looked like. So here it is. So that's how the Oracle virtual box look like. So these are like, if you see, you might have installed, then you might not see this option, static analysis and Cuckoo VM, or in fact, this Cuckoo MA. So these are like sandbox environment and this is the VM which I use for analysis for the malware, static analysis of the malware. So you don't have to worry. These are the old machine. I used it. That's why it is showing. But for your case, you may not see this one. Okay. So you will see these tools and these options. Next thing uh, we are going to do for Kali Linux that now we will download the Kali Linux OS. Okay. So how we do it? Just search Kali download Kali, download Kali Linux, here it is, get Kali, just go to the official website kali.org, once you open the page, it opens like this one, here you see in the front page there are two options, first is installer images, another one is virtual machines. So you have both the options in order to install the OS or in fact the Kali Linux. Either you can download the raw machine, okay, installer images and then you have to install it manually on your machine. Okay, one step by step it will be doing. So it's like you will be having direct access to the hardware, customized version of these things will be coming and no overhead will be there. Another way is there. It's like already a virtual machine installed and now that installed snapshot will be provided to you. You see that is saying there is snapshot functionary. So it means that somebody has installed it and then from the virtual box, they have taken the snapshot or you can say the backup of that one 
and that backup they have provided to you so you just have to open that one and you can use it so it's just on your skills that how good you are you can go for the installer images if you are good in the administration and installation part you can download this one recommended one and then you can install it on your virtual box another way is to download this virtual machine so as of now i am going to go for the ready-made things because for the most of the guys it is faster and easy to use if you are not so expert so as we are a beginner so i will recommend you to go for the virtual machines as you click it will just uh, prompt you there now here you have all the options you want to download the vm for the vmware or you want to go for virtual box or hyper v or you want to go for KMU. So you see that I have already downloaded the virtual box. So I will go for this one. If you are having the VMware as a host, much uh, like this installer or in fact, uh, virtual uh, user, then you can use the VMware, this one. So right now I have VM virtual box. So I will go for this one. This is like 3.0 gig. So it will take a little bit time, but I will wait and like skip this downloading part. That's how the Kali Linux is downloaded. So this is the original download. I just uh, finished it before four minutes. Uh, but accidentally, this one just uh, I restarted. So I'm just paused it and I will use this one. Okay. So I'm going to use this show in the folder. And next thing I'm going to do it uh, that I will extract it. So right click and extract all. Copy and replace. Okay, I think I already have this one. So I will copy and replace. So you might not have having this problem like copy and replace, but uh, you have to do it like you have to do the extraction part. So it may take some time. So I'm just waiting for a while and then we will proceed further. And here we go. My Kali Linux is like uh, extracted. And if I click this folder, you see there's two machines there, right? virtual box machine and uh, virtual disk image so what i will do i will just open these machines using my virtual box so if i think it is closed i will open my oracle vmware virtual box so if you are like uh, know this vmware as well you can use this vmware workstation as well so i have that workstation pro but i'm just giving you the demo for the oracle vmware virtual box you can use the same way your VMware VM image as well. Okay, so once way one way is like to add it. You can add it here. You can give the name. Okay, so file name. I'm going to go to the downloads where I have just there. Inside the downloads, it was Kali Linux, and that folder I extracted. You see, there's already a VBox file is there it is like 2.95 mb but it's still little open it so it is there kali linux and now i can start it right so if you want to start it you can just select it here and click here as a start so now it is started it is powering up giving me the message let me make it like full screen And uh, the first prompt it will give you like this one booting in one second. So it is like booting it now. And next option it will give me for the username and password. Okay. So that's how the logo comes. I think you might be familiar of this one. And uh, now it asks you the user username and password because this is like pre-built images image in fact uh, we have downloaded so it has some username and password already set if you install it manually by yourself during the installation or in fact the first phase of installation it will ask you to set up the password but this is like a pre-built machine what i'm using i downloaded the pre-built machine so the default password username and password is kali and kali so i will enter the kali and the password once again the same as kali and just hit login and you will see the magical kali nets now all right so that's how actual kali Linux looks like inside the virtual box 
but uh, the magic of this one is not this GUI it's the CLI of this one right so how to access a CLI you see this black symbol here I think I cannot zoom it so if you are watching in the mobile phone it's like really hard for you so just come on the laptop and you see it here this terminal right if I uh, hover over it it shows you terminal emulator just click on this one the terminal will open like this one okay so if I make I cannot make it large I think or I can so maximum size is this one only you can check the IP here just put ifconfig you can see the IP here 192.168.29.228 uh, why I am doing this one because uh, the font size of this one is like quite small and uh, this window is also very small so we can access it via putty okay so I am going to this 192.168 29.228 i think ssh might not be working i need to start it yes it is so i will do c2 system ctl start ssh and the password is same as kali so now my service is started i will try again with the putty 192.168.29.228 here we go and the password is Kali and Kali once again so that's how we are logged in the putty the positive thing is here we can make it the large size like this another way we can also increase the size so for example I want to change the appearance I can make it like this and you can see it larger so that's like the magic of using putty but if you are like okay with this smaller screen that's not a problem you can use that also both works the same but uh, I'm more comfortable with putty but that's how I like teach you so you might observe that sometimes uh, you might not be able to access via putty so try to change some adapter setting as well from this setting and this network and try to change to NAT or bridge adapter and use accordingly okay so once you do that one that's like settings on your machine uh, you can try using this as well so that will make your machine accessible from outside like from putty installed on your my machine so that's it like from once you are here you can use the same practice what I will be using in further classes as well as what i have done in the previous session all right guys see you soon with the more complex commands and uh, how to start packing or the penetration testing because i believe in the positive things more at the end uh, about regarding my website this is my website and you might be seeing that this courses will be somewhere landing here these are like free courses you can learn this ccna 48 checkpoint or palo alto based on your interest and the requirement all right guys see you soon in the next session till that bye bye